What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about Nano Dimension, ticker symbol NNDM, and their most recent SEC filing. It is a very important uh, filing that we're going to be going over. Basically, what they want to do is they're asking shareholders to allow them to be able to raise more capital. So we're going to go over that entire SEC filing. So make sure you guys stick until the end of this video so you guys can decide what you think you want to vote if you are an NNDM shareholder. So if you guys enjoy the information that I provide for you in this video, please go down and hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. It really helps me get this information out to as many people as possible and you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks and learn about a couple of new ones. So today, NNDM actually had a really strong day, going up about 15.77% at market close, and it even went as high as 1769 before we had this little bit of a flash crash, then bounce back up. Uh, a lot of the other small cap companies had this happen. A lot of them got halted. Everybody was kind of freaking out, but it really had to do with some uh, China-US tensions, and the overall market sold off, and the small cap companies got hit the worst. So over the past couple of months, NNDM has been absolutely going crazy. We saw it down at the $3 range and now it is trading all the way up at $66.66. You see it fell 2.94% down to 16.17 after hours. And that was because of this most recent uh, SEC filing. So if we go over and take a look, we can see that following the approval of the company's board of directors, the shareholders of the company are requested to improve an increase to the company's authorized share capital by NIS $1.25 billion, the increase of share capital. Accordingly, after giving effect to the increase of share capital, the authorized share capital of the company will be NIS $2.5 billion divided into $500 million ordinary shares par value NIS $5 each. Now, following the company's most recent registered offering of 35 million ordinary shares represented by American depository shares that closed on January 19th, 2021, the company has only approximately 18 million ordinary shares available for issuance on a fully diluted basis. The board of directors believes that increase of share capital is, um, is appropriate and in the best interest of the company's shareholders, especially considering that the company is in the process of evaluating certain acquisition opportunities. That's very important. The CEO has said in a couple of his recent interviews that they are looking to buy between one and three companies. Now, he's also said that currently there is really no direct direct competition for NNDM's Dragonfly LDM uh, system. But if another company arises and is a competitor to NNDM, they're just going to buy that company out. What I think that they are looking at doing right now is they're looking for a company that is going to help streamline their production process of the Dragonfly LDM. The CEO has said that he wants to actually mass produce this system and get it out to as many people as possible. And if they can merge or acquire another company that can allow them to do this, then it's really going to help the company long term, which will end up providing more value to shareholders. The CEO also said that he is looking uh, to get uh, the Dragonfly LDM system to be able to mass produce the complex electric circuitry that it is able to 3D print. So they might be using some of these funds uh, for that reason. But if we take a look down a little bit further, we can see basically what the issue is, is to approve the increase of share capital by NIS $1.25 billion to NIS $2.5 billion divided into 500 million ordinary shares par value NIS is five dollars each now here is some important uh aspects of this proxy statement so this bull uh capitalized uh statement right here except as mentioned otherwise in this proxy statement if no specification as made that means if you do not vote the proxy will be voted in favor of the proposal described in the proxy statement so this kind of is just showing how motivated the uh executives of this company are at getting this approved it must be the case that they are looking to acquire a company that they do not have enough funds to acquire uh, and they won't have enough cash on hand after they acquire that specific company that they're looking at for their general corporate purposes, research and development, and to uh, actually have the ability to stay afloat for five to 10 years like they do now. 
So this shareholder meeting is going to be taking place on February 15th. And if we scroll down a little bit further in this SEC filing, we can see that all votes must be received by 12 p.m. Eastern time, February 10th, 2021. And it seems like you actually have to print out this document and mail it in yourself. So uh, this is going to be a big decision for investors coming up in the future. There's Both sides have good points on whether or not they would be okay with NNDM raising uh, more capital or if they don't think that it's really necessary. But the executives at this company really believe that the, they need more capital in order to provide better value to their shareholders long term. Now, as I've said with NNDM in the past, I think this company is a going to be an absolute killer long term. And we don't really want to overcook it too early when investors don't really see the valuation uh, being really accurate and nobody really wants to put uh, any capital behind the company anymore. Uh, we, we could see that with ARC. Uh, if the company gets too overbought and it goes up to the $25, $30 range too soon, uh, we might see them start to sell off their shares, which would not be a great sign. If they start taking profits, I think that's going to uh, really cause a downtrend in the stock. But in general, we're not really close to that point yet. But this is a very important day coming up for NNDM. Uh, it seems like they are going to get this passed. They provided a lot of different scenarios in this document where they basically basically just said, hey, look, we need this uh, capital to raise more funds, to do what we need to do to get this system out to as many people as possible and make it the best that it can absolutely be. So in general, NNDM has gone up an absolutely crazy amount over the past couple of months. I would not be surprised if we see a sell-off coming in the near future for maybe a week or two. Uh, it's going to be a good dip to buy, in my opinion. You might want to sell some premium on the put side, some cash-secured puts, if you are looking to get into NNDM at a lower price than it is currently trading at. So if we come over and take a look at the options chain, uh, say February 19th, let's look at the puts. If you want to buy uh, uh, 100 shares of NNDM at $10, you can collect uh, $30 of premium for every $1,000 uh, that you want to put into this company. Um, so that's a good option if you want to get into any NNDM at a lower price. But I'd say in general, it's going to be good to just wait for the dip uh, and buy if you like this company long term. I really do. Uh, I think this is just a great company to keep an eye on in the future. And it's gone up so much that a pullback is only healthy for a company like this. Now, if we take a look at this graph, this graph is going to be tracking the buying behavior of ARK in NNDM over the last couple of months. And I'm showing you this today in this video because they own about 10.77 million shares of NNDM, giving them a position size of a $125 to $130 million. So you know that ARK is going to be very active in this shareholder meeting, and they're going to be casting their votes one way or another. And their vote is really going to have some weight with this company since ARC is such a successful trading firm that NNDM does not really want to lose any of the capital that they've received from ARC and mainly the, the big valuation increase in NNDM, a lot of it has had to do with everybody hyping up NNDM because ARK Invest has been putting so much capital behind it. Now, NNDM in general is a great company, but a lot of the time there are some outside factors that do affect the share price like this. So in general, I think NNDM long term is going to be fine. I'm still thinking by the end of 2021 that we're going to see the $30 price point. Uh, I really think that it can get there, especially especially if it comes out with really good news in the future. And when they announce uh, which company that they're going to be acquiring and they complete that acquisition or merger, that I think investors are really going to see that as a good sign and, and push the value of NNDM up in the future. Because investors, after the short-term sell-off, if it happens when there's an acquisition, investors are really going to see uh, that that the capital that NNDM has been raising and the funds that they've deployed are really to make this company the absolute best in the 3D printing space. So that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed what I had for you in this one, please go down and hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and make sure you comment down below your thoughts on which way you're leaning on voting. I think we could have a very productive conversation in the comments and just kind of get our points out on why or why not we would want this to be approved or not. So I hope you guys had a profitable trading day and I'll see you guys in the next video.